Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Finds TV. I'm Melanie Reese. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. Now let's see this week's SEL lesson. Did you guys see the TikTok I posted in the GC? Yeah, it was really yeah. good. Yeah. So oh my gosh. We should go record it. We should. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, the girls were not responsible with their decisions and ended up getting in trouble. Let's see what they should have done. Hey guys, did you see that video I posted in the GC? Yeah. yeah. That was so funny. We should go record it. We should. No. We, we might get caught though. Yeah, that's well, a bad we should. idea. I mean, I guess we could record after school. Yeah. yeah. I guess. As you can see here, the girls were being responsible and suggested that they shouldn't record the TikTok in school. This saves them from being in trouble. Always think about the consequences that can happen from your actions. Until next time, Patriots, and make sure to make good decisions. Thanks for that amazing noon lesson. Now let's learn a new word with word of the day. Alex, I saw that you were really paying attention in class and taking good notes today. Yeah, I was trying to be vigilant today because I want to be prepared for tomorrow's test. Well, I hope that being vigilant is going to help you in your test. Thank you. As well, Ms. Smith also noticed. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow word, word of the day. day. Now let's check on our Hispanic Heritage Highlights with Sophia. Thank you, Melanie. Como te va, Patriots? Today in history, we're going to talk about Luis Von Ann. Born on August 19, 1978, Luis Von Ann is a Guatemalan entrepreneur. He is the CEO of Duolingo and the creator of ReCAPTCHA. You know those picks and questions that make sure you're not a robot when you go to a website or app? Yep, those are CAPTCHAs. Duolingo is an app that teaches you different languages. Luis got an award from Apple for being iPhone App of the Year in 2013. Well, it must be so cool to have an app that teaches so many people. Now let's see what's cooking with Jasmine. Thank you, Sophia. Today's lunch is beef nachos with cheese, lettuce, and tomato topping, corn, pineapple tidbits, taco sauce, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch can change at any time. And don't forget to let your teachers know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's get back to Melanie. Thank you, Jasmine, I can't wait for lunch. Super Patriots, the instructional software challenge is still going on, and it ends on Thursday, October 20th, 2022. Let's keep flying through those lessons with an 80% or higher. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure you have your phone shut down in your backpacks at all times. Now let's see what the weather's looking like today with Nia. Thank you, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. You can expect 83 degrees Fahrenheit with thunderstorms. Friday, we finally had some sun, but that didn't last very long. Let's hope we have some sunny skies soon. In other weather news, your next rental car could be electric. The rental car company Hertz has some pretty big plans. Within the next five years, they plan on ordering over 175,000 electric cars. They're doing this in effort to help the environment. In the United States, transportation is the number one contributor to greenhouse gases. So, by starting to switch over to the electric side, they're contributing to the betterment of our Earth. Now let's go to Hendrik for the birthdays. Thank you, Nia. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Hey, Destiny, what's your favorite kind of milk, regular or chocolate? Definitely chocolate. I know, right? Plus, it's National Chocolate Milk Day. Did you know that an Irish physician named Sir Hans Sloan invented chocolate milk? Chocolate milk definitely sells white milk. 
FIFA 23 was released yesterday and there are tons of new features such as a women's division, a World Cup game mode, and Hypermotion 2 technology to play with realistic movement including 6,000 unique animations and graphics. It's giving very technology vibes. LeBron has joined a pretty confident looking group. Ladies and gentlemen, LeBron has joined the ball fraternity of the NBA. He said that he let his receding hairline win, but he rocks his baldness with confidence. I think it matches him better. Technology fans, coming out on October 12th, starting at $1,600, the GeForce RTX 4090 will be released. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it, running up to twice as fast than the last GPU, the RTX 3090. Sources say that this GPU is more power efficient and much more. Not really into tech, but it sounds interesting. That's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Hendrick for the birthdays. Thank you, Nia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Miles Frazier, Sean Johnson, and Josara Jimenez Espinal. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Hendrick. Patriots, hear your past expectations. Represent, present yourself positively, and kindly towards others. Treat the school environment respectfully and succeed at everything. Now for last week's Daily Challenge winners. Congrats to Ms. Velez, Ms. Ayanin Kwa, Ms. Stone, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Madden, and Mr. Winselman. You all had the correct response to last week's Daily Challenge. Do you have your answer ready? It doesn't matter which way you chose because you're wrong. Why? <laughs> Roosters just don't lay eggs. Props to you if you were attentive enough to get this one. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge! What has many teeth but can't bite? Teachers, please send your answer to pinesoutrenaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone in RPTV would like to wish you a terrific Tuesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!